March is National Kidney Month, and there are tens of thousands of people across the country waiting for a kidney. For some who wait, it can take up to 10 years. No doubt a very long time. But one Central Indiana family, they're getting proactive in their search for a donor. Our own Alan Carter introduces us to this local family. Doug Hauser is a teacher, and he's the father of two boys. Makes things smaller. Fred is two. His older brother, George, is seven. But in order to watch them continue to grow up, Doug needs a kidney. Being tired, um, I've been struggling with low blood pressure, which means I'm dizzy sometimes and those kind of things. The sooner I can get a transplant, the better. Um, I don't know for sure. I mean, people can literally wait for years on the transplant list. Doug has been waiting for a transplant now for a little more than a year. About five days a week, he's on at-home dialysis. Worrying about being there for my boys. Um, you know, they need me. Fred's, Fred's my little buddy. I mean, he's two and a half. And, you know, I got started late in life. And, and, but you don't do that thinking, oh, I have a limited amount of time or, oh, I'm going to have a catastrophic illness. The only person who may want to find a donor more than Doug. We were meeting with one of our doctors. And is his wife. Because I was like, how do you find a kidney? And he goes, well, you just don't go up to somebody and say, hey, nice to meet you. Can I have your kidney? And Doug and I both kind of chuckled. And I was like, oh, Dr. Palson, you haven't met me very well. You don't know me very well. I said, I will go up and I will ask people. She <laughs> laughed, but Jenny Hauser is serious because she's made it her mission to find her husband the perfect match. I, like I said, I would do anything to save his life. Bumper stickers, flyers, T-shirts even a Donate to Doug Facebook page. Yeah, I mean, you just never know who will see that and think, that is something that I could do. In sickness and in health, it's a fight they will take on together. You know, it's a team effort. We can't do it alone. And I can't do this life alone. I want him here. I want him here with me and with our boys, and that's why it's so important. In Noblesville, Alan Carter, Channel 13. I'll do whatever I have to do to, to find that match. Eyewitness News. And maybe you're a match there at home. If you would like to find out if you are a match for Doug or really any of the other nearly 100,000 people who are waiting for a kidney transplant, just check out Alan's story on our website at WTHR.com.